Oh boy, oh boy. We're back. I hope we're back. Okay, I hope you guys can hear this. Making a new file. Life, did I actually hit start streaming? I did, okay. I did hit start streaming, huh? Okay, see in here, perfect. I had this moment of panic while I'm just talking to the void. So yeah, uh, Kirby Air Ride. I played a lot of this with my brother. I mean, I think most games in the GameCube I played a lot of with my brother. Um, so, this was uh, done by, um, I was about to say Motoi Sakurai, but no, 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 uh, Masahiro Sakurai, um, you know, uh, Kirby's creator and the guy currently helping um, Smash, who really needs to sleep. You'll probably see a lot of similarities um, in between Air Ride and Smash, particularly with regards to like the menus and the achievement system. Even the menu, really. Anyway, so, um, if you're not familiar, it's a racing game, essentially. You're playing as Kirby on Warp Stars and other vehicles. Um, uh, it also was one of the few games that had local area network play, which I'd never got to do, um, along with Double Dash. But anyway, so uh, Air Ride is your standard Mario Kart-ish racing mode. Um, top Ride is a top-down mode, um, which I know some people doesn't like, but my don't like. But my brother and I had a lot of fun. If you crank the laps up really high, um, and then City Trial is the mode that I we spent the most time in. Um, where power up in the city, then compete in the stadium, is what it says. There's no point in switching off the starting beagles if you can't find a warp star. What? See, I, my brother and I, actually, no, let's make it seven, which is the highest you can do, unfortunately. Um, shuffle, gotta have the events on. You'll see what events are uh, when I start playing. Um, my brother and I had our favorite ships that we would Oh, that's right, there's a little tutorial video! Race around the city and power up your machine! The first machine you'll use is the Compact Star. Head for any boxes you can find. Burst them up with a quick spin or boost. Items pop out. So yeah, here's a little... I'll let the tutorial uh, explain what stuff does. So, uh, you boost your stats by picking up items. Because you're... <laughs> your your uh, ship's basic stats are pretty bad. Um, your ship can get blown up, and you can find new ones in the city. Um, some are better than others. Uh, I mean, it's all subjective. I really like the Shadow Star. It's very slow and doesn't turn well, but once you boost it up... My brother liked that one. The Swerve Star, I think? Um, which can't turn unless you're holding down the A button to stop. Anyway, it'll make sense when you see it. Kill each other, take their stuff, blow up their ships. My brother and I would uh, beat each other up mercilessly. You know, because siblings. The starting vehicle does really good if you get glide up in top speed. This is correct. And the Warp Star is just an upgraded version. And yeah, um, so you compete in an event at the end. Um... But, uh, you know, you don't know what the event's gonna be until it happens. Sometimes there'll be a little ticker on screen that might give you a hint. Um, sure. I haven't played this in a long time. I'm sure this is fine. Uh, that might give you a hint as to what the stadium event is gonna be, but it's not even always right. Sometimes it lies to you. Anyway, I was always Pink Kirby. That was my thing. Welcome back, Oak. Oh boy. A little chuggy, huh? Hopefully it's generally okay. Oh, memories. So you can do a spin attack if you waggle the control stick back and forth. Boxes take a long time to break in your starting vehicle because it's so weak. It's a little chuggy, but we'll be okay. Um, that's another swerve star. So you'll find other vehicles around the city as you play. Um, what I like to do is if you hop off your vehicle, you can... See a little further if there's anything near you. Like, oh, there's a Shadow Star. Get back on. Because normally you can't see stuff too close unless you're right up next to it. 
unless you're off your vehicle. And I think that's because you can get blown up and lose your vehicle, so you're going to want to find something quick. Uh, the slowdown's a little wonky. Uh-oh, this one's flashing red, so it's actually almost busted. So I gotta find... Oh, like ice cream. Oh, and there's HP up. Hopefully the chugging isn't super unwatchable. I guess we'll find out. Corb! Hello, Nita's boy! Welcome to Corb. Sorry it's a little chuggy. This stream has been kind of a, a dolphin emulator stress test. And there's all sorts of um, challenges you can complete to unlock stuff. Um, like, for instance, I think if you bust every tree here is a challenge. Um, these little buildings up here, uh, you can also buzz these, which I'm not going to worry about right now, because unless your attack is really high, it's a slog. I believe they're listed on the challenge log as dilapidated houses. Um, like, break all dilapidated houses, and I remember my brother once reading it as demented houses, and I still gently poke fun for that. I might have to optimize my dolphin settings. Yeah, this is probably true. I meant to do a little more fiddling before stream, but I just, I had a bad headache all afternoon, so I wasn't able to do it. The most important thing is that this emulator as a whole streams well, uh, because I really want to do Thousand Year Door, which again, I'm going to, I'm going to take Tuesday off, um, and I'm going to do Thousand Year Door next week. I don't know why I'm determined to, like, break all of these trees. <laughs> Gordo smash. It's really easy to kill yourself with these Gordos if you drive into them. I've done it. My brother's done it. We've all done it. Oh, here comes an event. I don't know what it is. It's fog. Can't see nothing. You remember 100%ing this game on the GameCube with your brother. A gem it is a gem in the rough. Not like the GameCube didn't have a good lineup, but... It was unexpected, I think. Um, getting 100% on this is really hard, because some of the challenges are very difficult just to achieve, because um, you have to get really lucky. Like, um, in City Trial, for instance, there is uh, the Dragoon and the Hydra, which are special ships um, that you have to randomly find the parts for in boxes. You probably remember the, uh, the Dragoon from Smash, if you played that. Um, and same thing, you have to get three parts in order to, uh... I'm gonna beat up with some woods, too. You have to get three parts in order to complete it. So there's a challenge you can get where you have to complete the, uh, the Hydra and the, um... Dragoon in one match or city trial. But you have to get lucky and find those parts. And there's no, uh, no guarantee they're gonna spawn. I didn't like using them because they felt too busted. They weren't always, depending on the events. But I know my brother was always really gung-ho when he found them, but I would desperately try and stop him from getting all the pieces. I think they show up in red boxes. What's the goal here? Um, the goal here is upgrade your ship, collect items, and then when that timer at the top runs out, we're all going to compete in an event of some sort. Uh, we don't know what until the event happens, so you just got to hope that your build uh, works out. Fighting Hydra and Dragoon isn't that hard. They have set pieces, places they spawn at a set time. Really? See, I thought it was random whether or not they showed up at all. You know. Sometimes I would just break other ships I saw just to be cheeky. Also, this fireworks cannon is really good for destroying opponents, or siblings, as it were. I didn't know that! See, when my brother and I played, we had it in our heads that they only spawn randomly. Well, I'll be darned. Never mind. This is back in the day where, you know, uh, finding inter information on the internet was a little harder. Not as bad as it used to be, but. The Kirby, you're not too aware of Kirby lore. Kirby lore stupidly long. The goal is to spend time grabbing as much random upgrades as possible to win a random challenge. Yeah, Kirby has some pretty in-depth lore. If you really want to dig deep, but mostly, yeah, pink thing eats stuff, stops Eldritch, Eldritch Abomination. Doesn't really know what's going on half the time, but bless his heart. Hey, hey, hey. I want to fight them. Man, that vaporwave music is really funny. 
You would build one, uh, one than the other just so your sister couldn't use one? Pink thing is Dragon Ball levels of broken. You mean the Hydra? Oh, it's the, uh, the Wagon Star. This little pink vehicle here. Um, it can't charge, by which I mean this. That charge and turn, but it's got good stats otherwise. Um, yeah, this thing. It looks like a little ice cream cart, or like a food truck. A noodle, noodle van? My brother and I would always call it the Amy Mobile because it was pink and we played a lot of Sonic Adventure DX. Oh, didn't grab that. Kirby is actually just a baby, yes. Uh, especially in the anime. Um, boy, that Kirby anime is weird. Um, and the dub version, also done by four kids who, to go back a little bit, did Sonic X as well. Um, gave DVD this Foghorn Leghorn voice, which actually I think suits him. Because he's bold and brash and doesn't listen to what anyone says to him. And isn't a big annoying bird. And that's what Foghorn Leghorn was, except I don't hate King DDD with a burning passion like I do Foghorn Leghorn. Yeah. You mean Kirby's- in Kirby himself, his power is- it levels are broken. Oh yeah, no, Kirby is very strong. I don't want to spoil some Kirby bosses for people who don't play the games, but... What do you mean, spoil Kirby bosses? You can spoil Kirby bosses? Yeah. I'll have to stream some Kerbo someday. Kirby is going through an emo phase. Just look at his car. It's cool! Come on! I like the Shadow Star. Meta Knight was kind of a Zoro type in the anime. Yeah, they gave him that... that Spanish accent and the little Spanish guitar whenever he showed up in the anime, which is kind of funny. Um... And then Escargoon. It's Escargon in the Japanese version, but Escargoon in English. It was kind of like a Paul Lind impression. Someone was talking about streaming Kirby 64. Yeah, I think, I think I was. It was something I was considering. Um, Kirby 64 is an option. Gosh, there's so many things. Um, I do want to try Thousand Your Door next week, but Kirby 64 is definitely on the table. But if I was one of those people that could stream, like, full-time, um, and do, like, multiple games uh, a week, but now I gotta focus. Okay, cool. I busted all those houses. People probably live there. It's a Batmobile of sorts. Is it cool? Absolutely cool. Is it worth it? Yes. Kirby 64 bad ending kind of scary. I know! I love it! The Kirby series as a whole is very much my aesthetic. Um, I think my first Kirby game was Super Starks. My cousins had a copy of it. Aha! Uh -huh, you were going for that, but you fell in a hole. Is mine now. Um, ooh, top speed up. Um... And I really like the juxtaposition between, you know, cute, colorful, really good music, but also, like, the the final bosses in Kirby games are usually nightmarish abominations. I mean, the first Kirby boss was Nightmare. Um, that's what they were called. But, uh, so very much my aesthetic. Um, and Kirby 64 definitely delivers. You know, oh, hi, Muffin! You know nothing about Kirby other than him cute. I mean, that's all you really need to know. You know, eat thing, go boil. That's it. That's all the curb you need. Oh, last thirty seconds. Ugh. Ugh. Um, let's see. So for those who haven't played this before, the blue boxes uh, um, contain upgrades. The red boxes will contain um, abilities like bomb here. They might also really contain parts for the Hydra or the, uh, Dragoon ships. And then the green boxes contain temporary upgrades, like that thing I just picked up. This is a mine. That bomb I just dumped in the ground. I miss playing with my brother. Gosh. Pick these up. We always called these upgrades patches, like turn patches, because you were patching your vehicle, I guess. No. Oh, there was an offense booster. Kirby 64, your first Kirby game. That's a good one to start. Oh good, that little tone means I cleared some challenges. Kirby really does just kill gods before our eyes for things like cake. 
Yeah, Kirby Squeak Squad. The whole plot of that game is kicked up because Kirby wanted his cake back. Target flight. Oh boy. So it's what it says. Fly into the number board and earn points. Uh, I might be too fast for this. No, I'm good. Boy, rip yellow. Yellow will probably gets a lot of speed, but probably uh, doesn't fly very well. Uh, yes! Whoa, I just like barely nosed in there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think Superstar was my first Kirby game, but also Dreamland 3, because my cousins also had Dreamland 3. Um, they actually have different, I want to say, directors. Um, so there's sort of like the Kirby's Dreamland eh, style games. Um, and then there's the. I don't know how to describe them. The other non Dreamland Kirby games with slightly different lore. Like, the, the Dreamland games have Dark Matter as a recurring character. Kirby 64 is one of those. Um, excellent. So yeah, that's very Smash, um, if you haven't uh, played this before. So there's this checklist you gotta fill out. And again, if you get something on the checklist, it'll reveal the criteria for the stuff next to them. Some of them are very specific. Um, like, you'll have to get specific items or have specific events pop up. A red ones mean you unlock stuff. Dilapidated houses, demented houses, as my brother misread it. Oh, they do call them patches. Okay, I thought it was just something my brother and I made up. I couldn't remember. Oops, hang on. Let's do another one. How about? Hope you guys are cool with that. It's nice just to play a couple rounds of this and chill. Amazing Mirror is good. I don't know, is there a way to do... I feel like I shouldn't talk about emulation on stream. Nintendo, please don't. Please don't arrest me. I have so many of your games. I've been a loyal consumer for so long. Um, I don't know if there's a way to do net play with Game Boy Advance emulation, because Kirby and the Amazing Mirror had a really cool concept where... The world map was pretty open for a side-scrolling game, and there were a lot of different areas you could visit. Hang on, I'm just gonna peep what's around me here. Oh, there's a Shadow Star again. Um, and, uh, so it had up to four-player cooperative multiplayer. And unlike a lot of co-op games where you were kind of tethered to wherever player one was, you could go off and explore the whole world. By yourself. Oh, Yellow just stepped on that mine. Um, and, uh, you had a little cell phone. That was part of the game's main gimmick that you could use to call for help from other players. So if you were on a boss or something and you needed backup, you could call them and have them come assist you if they chose to answer. There is? You used to do net play with Visual Boy Advance for Mega Man. What? Oh my gosh. Okay, I need to figure out how to get this working to play Kirby and the Amazing Mirror with people. Because I remember I owned a copy of the Amazing Mirror. And my brother went to the rent rented, rented it once. And uh hang on. Let's see if I can annihilate somebody. Cool. Well he's not dead, but I'm sure that hurt. Um But uh so we played the co-op. Even with just two people, it was really fun. Just you know, exploring, finding treasures, going wherever you want. Dang. Man, I love Kirby games, you guys. They've just shaped my personal aesthetic so much. Before you had to use Hamachi. That was almost ten years ago. Oh good, I remember trying to get Hamachi to work once and it was really fuzzy. Well dang. Hey, if people ever want to play some Kerbo. You know it's really sad. I don't know if you'll get to see it while I'm streaming, but the other ships that you see just sitting on the map, um, after they sit for a while, they'll just fly up into space, away, gone forever. And I know I've had it where I've gotten off a ship to pick something up that I really want, like the Shadow Star, but right before I can board it, it just flies away. That's really sad. A restoration area has appeared somewhere in the city. Ah, uh, just stand on it and we'll heal you. I don't really need it. I think I'm good. 
what about everyone else who's played Kirby? Uh, what are your first uh, Kirby games? Or any ones that you have fond memories of? I have played a lot of Kirby in my time. <laughs> Ow. Very graceful. No! Oh, I didn't want that bad one. Kirby 64 and the Crystal Shards, also a very good choice. I remember when I first played it, I spent a long time, you know, I didn't want to look up a guide or anything, a long time looking for the last Crystal Shard that I needed. Because there was one I was missing in the second last level, and it was driving me crazy. I couldn't find it, and it was, um, it was in a carpet that you had to use, I think, a combination of needle and fire to get. I had a little flaming bow and arrow, and it took me a long time to find it. It was driving me crazy. Anyway, that's my that's my Kirby 64 story. Good game. Would recommend. Um, maybe we'll stream it at some point because it. I think I could even do it 100% in like two streams. It's not a long game. I think Kirby games as a whole don't generally take a long time to play if you know what you're doing. Um, they can be- I think one thing I like about Kirby games is that they're usually pretty chill, but the final bosses, uh, can be harder. And you can usually get, like, boss rush modes, and there's always additional stuff to do. You know, like, getting all the crystal shards, or, like, collecting all the treasures in Great Cave Offensive, that kind of thing. You have technically played Kirby and the Crystal Shards, and only to see if it worked. It gathers dust now. No, Kelly! You owe it to yourself. Play a little Kirb. Kirby and the Crystal Shards is one of the few games you've properly finished. Looking through it, it seems like Hamachi is the only safe way. Oh, It's still better than nothing, but yeah, wrestling with Hamachi is tricky. Apparently Netplay works on Dolphin here fairly well, so uh, online Mario Party is an option, certainly. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? Oops, I didn't mean to drop down. Ooh, an air ride machine formation. Oh, here. I don't really want any of them. But, oh, there's a warp star in there. That's not bad. But... So, if any of you have seen the Kirby anime, which I know Carrie streamed a bunch of a while back, um, a lot of the songs from Air Ride also appear in the anime. This is one of them. Not, again, in the English for kids one. I think it was a licensing thing. Where the ships are supposed to be a lot higher up in the air and not six feet off the ground. Unless I've just somehow never seen it before, despite putting like a, a lot of hours into this game. I want to break this star. Yeah. Oh, there goes a ship. It just flew away. I didn't break the star. You're no good at playing games all the way to the end. I have that problem where I get sidetracked. Oh, there's a part of the Hydra. Um, especially if, like, I'm doing too much, like, menial or side questy stuff that isn't really interesting, because I'll lose interest. Kirby, 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 that's thing you should know. Kirby, 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 he's the star of the show. It's more than you think, he's got maximum... I can't believe this is turning into a stupid karaoke stream that I... Ah, oh, no, I slipped off. I want... I want the heart. Shadow Star is unfortunately very squishy without the right upgrades. Oh, whatever. Oh, I didn't break the star! This sucks. Everything's terrible. Eh. Maximum Pank. That's right. He got Maximum Pank. Okay, ladies. Now let's get in formation. Kirby is Beyonce. Oh, you borrowed 64 from a cousin, think he had the first three. I advocate everybody should play more Curb. Oh, there we go. That's a Chivo. Oh! There's another Hydra part. Well, dang, maybe I should try and find... I wanted that blue! Maybe I should try and find the third one in the next two minutes. Oh, whoa, hey, excuse you. Rude. 
Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. He's the tower of the shit. I know that was a typo, but I, I kind of like that better. He's just goop. He's just primordial goop with dead dinosaurs in him. You heard it here first, folks. You're not sure how the net plays on Dolphin. It has great net code because of Slippy, though. The, the thing that lets you play Melee online, I think. That should be weird going back to Melee after, you know, playing other Smash. Uh, Luigi was my main in Melee, and my brother always played as Samus, but in later Smash games, like, they... They both played differently enough that we found it was hard to go back. Kirby confirmed for goop. Last hydro part is most likely beneath the tree, the volcano, or the buildings. Alright, let's try and find it. I haven't gotten the volcano yet. I'm kinda just getting used to this chuggy music. I think it's because I turned on a setting in Dolphin um, for audio stretching so it doesn't stutter as much. Okay, I think there's an entrance I can go into somewhere. Here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, not here. Why do you have to go on the top? It's been a long time, gosh. I think I would just have everything, like, memorized, because my brother and I played this so often. Oh, it's under the buildings? Oh, and they stole it from me. Oh, I forgot there's this little rail system you can use to get around. So, there's an event um, that can randomly occur. Oh boy, I hope it's not it right now. That would be really funny. Oh, tactile items. This song was also in the anime. Um, I'm gonna go try and beat him up. Uh, so there's an event that can randomly occur where the rail stations catch fire. Um, and it popped up once when my brother was on the rail stations. Uh, he was not happy about it. It was really funny. Just one under. Break. Ugh, this this thing is out of control now. Oh, well there's a piece of the uh dragoon. No! No! I can't steer, I'm grown too fast. Meh. Oh, I can go through the, to the bottom. Dang. Whoops. Oh, well. Boy, I hope it's something where I have to fly really far. Oh, good! Gotta go fast. Too fast. Whoosh. Slow down, Red. There's one where you have to get a lot of, uh, or rather, go really high, like a high jump one, the wheelie scooter is really good for that. My brother would always win because he likes getting a wheelie scooter. But it's one of those vehicles I just never really gelled with. I should experiment more. I think I'm more willing in games these days to just try everything and see what sticks, where I used to, like, find a favorite and stick with it. Yay. Yay. Um, I think I got time for one more. Let's do one more. I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. Hope you are too. Um, this is my train of thought. Wait. Thinking about Kirby, I know it's gone. Oh yeah, I remember like in Splatoon, I change weapons all the time. I mean, I have my favorites, the ones that I'm the best with, like the uh, Ink Rush and the Luna Blaster, but I can use pretty much anything reliably. I should play some tomorrow and use the squeezer. I keep forgetting the squeezer exists. I may have dropped that too close to this box. We'll find out if my hubris gets me killed. Bust up the city again. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, it's good. It's good. Ugh. Suffering. I don't think I set that off, though. I think yellow did. Hydra does better on the height and distance ones if you get some glide up. I've definitely made the last two hours of work pass quickly. Well, I'm glad. I mean, that's 
that's what I hope to do. Is you know, just nice chill time. We can all hang out, talk about video games, and watch me suffer. What are you two doing over there? Oh, I wonder if I can break it. So maybe I'll try and get the sword and come back. Cause dang it, this it's harder to steer in this game than you think. Uh, you're not who I was looking to kill. I mean, I'll do it. Oh, no, there you are. Blue, blue, blue. Yes! <laughs> it's not as funny if it's not my brother, but... Who has Splatoon here? Uh, I do, Boogie does. I was gonna play some um, tomorrow, actually. Probably around... Maybe around, like, 11 or noon Pacific. Um, it's easy to forget about the squeezer. It's a gimmick weapon. I've had some success with it. I just forget about it sometimes. Mori maniacal laughter. I, I feel like I haven't laughed maniacally in a while. I didn't do it while playing Mario Party, which is just wrong. It would be nice to race in the air of the plains. Yeah, so sometimes it'll give you predictions on what the um, event you're going to have to do is, but it's not always right. Sometimes it lies to you. I think most of the time it's reliable, like at least 80%, but... You sense we could all play Splatoon together? Oh yeah, um, uh, if anyone's curious, there's a link to my Twitter beneath the uh, stream on Twitch here. Um, which is also where I post updates, so like if I'm not streaming for whatever reason, or if I'm going to be late, I'll mention it there first. Um, but uh, my Twitter profile does have my Switch friend code in it, so feel free to add me. And if you ever see me in a lobby in Splatoon, like, please, by all means, jump in. I would be ecstatic. You don't think it's live to you yet? I'm sure it's d it does very rarely. I have a distinct memory of it suggesting something and then it's not that, but it's very rare. Red, are you okay? What are you flying on? Come back, I'm slow. I should probably get a better ship, thinking about it. Well, there's another Shadow Star. I feel boring just getting the same one all the time now, but... If I see something better, I'll get it. You need to add everyone on your Switch, not that you have multiplayer games. Do it! Well, what is it now? There's something wrong with the compact star. I, just, I like the shadow star. It does good damage, and I just, I like making things blow up. Is that so wrong? It's still nice to grow your friends list and see what other people are or playing. I agree. Just don't judge me for how many hours I have in Splatoon 2. Boy, that was underwhelming. But, uh, the uh, Shadow Star is very strong compared to the Compact Star, so that's not surprising. Get out of here. Get out of here. These are mine. I broke the pillar. I did the work. It's like, um... I'm trying to think of, like, that fable type. Not a bug fable. Um... Or someone is baking bread. Like a chicken is baking bread and everybody refuses to help her. And they're like, we want bread. No, you didn't help me. Go away. I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. Hopefully somebody knows what I'm talking about, so... I don't sound like a complete crazy person. A little bit, but not as, as much as I normally do. I think the only multiplayer games you have are Catherine and Smash. I do have Smash. I haven't played it in a while, though. I realize that it's not as fun as when I used to play with my brother all the time, you know? You, sometimes you need that, like, face-to-face -face interaction. No, oh, that's disappointing. Loki dying to play some multiplayer Catherine. Well, if I ever pick it up, I'll let you know. But game's expensive, and I'm looking to pick up Mario 3D World. Uh, next month. Ugh. Give me the fast. I won't go fast. Melee is the better game competitively, so you stop with ultimate. Of 
or ultimate. I like all this stuff in ultimate, but like it's gotta be a nightmare trying to keep everything balanced. And Sakurai really needs a nap. Every time I see him, he looks even more tired. I'm trying to think of who my maid was in later Smash games. Ooh, another bit of a Dra uh, Hydra Dragoon. What am I saying? Oh, another formation approaching. Here comes Beyonce in the Goyles. Um, I, uh, let's see, Smash 64 was Kirby and or Fox, I'd go between them. Melee was Luigi. I don't play competitively, I just mostly play with my brother, so I don't worry about tier lists, because I don't have anyone to play with aside from my brother. Um, let's see, and then, I think Lucas, it's been a lot of Lucas, and now in Ultimate, I can, I can use most people fairly well, although I still struggle with... Anybody who uses swords, or who does, um, ooh, sort of racks up damage with weaker attacks, um, versus strong smash attacks, like, say, Sheik. I like strong smashes. I like hitting people away. I'm not good at the slowly racking up damage kind of thing, just based on my playstyle. Show me that warp star. I don't think I can get up to them. Maybe. What are you doing, Yellow? Did you want this? I'm sorry, did you want that? Ah, oh, Poor baby! That is definitely gonna come back to bite me somehow, karmically. Please don't tell me there's still like six- yeah. Okay, oh, there, there they are. Oh, there's no warp star in there. Well, that's disappointing. Oh, hello! Are you, Avenge, are you the one that's been doing the really cool Bug Fables monster AU? I haven't seen anyone else by that name, so I'm going to assume yes. In which case, hello! Welcome! Hata! I really enjoyed your uh, colored... I don't want to spoil the character, but... With the, uh, the cloak and everything. That's cool. No Warp Star bad event. Everybody go home. Uh, okay, uh, maybe this time I can find the last ship part, wherever it is. I don't know. Okay, I don't see any red boxes here. The ship underground. Oh, I'm going so fast! This is too much power for one Mori. Oh. Eh, eh. I'm going faster still! Get it, everybody! Uh... Oh, well that's not the right part. I'll take it, but that's not what I'm looking for. Under the tree of the volcano. Well, that was just under the tree. Let's try the volcano. I just hope that, like, lava doesn't come up beneath me. But yeah, there is the hole there. I don't, don't know why I missed it before. Uh, I'm not seeing anything here. Heck. Come on. I just need the one. You think this active volcano ever causes issues for the city? Uh, it causes issues for me when I'm driving beside it and a lava plume comes up beneath my butt. I don't appreciate that. Have a good one, Dawn. It's by the seaside. Let's find it. Yeah! Give me. Ugh, I'm even stronger now. Can't stop, won't stop. It's gonna get really hard to steer. <laughs> I'm up here now! It doesn't do me any good, but I'm up here now. I don't think I can find the other two Hydra parts in 10 seconds, but... Oh, let's go even faster. Gimme. I wish I was close enough to a CPU to blow one of them up before it's over, but I'm not gonna be. Oh, Red, if I only had more time. Now fight my dream. Tokyo Drift! Alright. Here we go. You know what I should do? It's just like a regular race before stopping 
Just because the, the music in this game is really good. Although, if it's a little chuggy, oh cripes, I don't remember the tracks at all. So I'm just kind of barreling through at top speed and hoping it works. Alright, we're good. It's only one lap. All this effort for, like, ten seconds! Red is speedy. I gotta give him props for that, but oof. Red almost beat me. Oh, he's on the Swerve Star, though. The Swerve Star is very fast. It was my brother's uh, favorite ship, which I didn't like because it's so stiff to use. Speed run! Alright. I'm gonna do just a couple courses here. Uh, just because the music's good. So it's very pared down compared to Mario Kart. I find I'm not as adept at it compared to Double Dash, um, which I've played a lot of. Uh, Air Ride's a little slipperier than Mario Kart, so it's a little harder to be accurate, I find. Yeah, we gotta do Checker Knights. Whoosh. It's very bouncy compared to Mario Kart. It has kind of like a bumper car feel. Oosh. Oh, it's been so long. I've missed this game. That drifted smooth, right? Just imagine Kirby with like a face, like a character in initial D. I guess that's a very specific thing to imagine, but. You know. Has anybody done, like, cheesy Eurobeat versions of songs from Air Ride? It's gotta be, right? Like, sometimes you need a little Eurobeat trash to get through the day. What's everybody's favorite Kirby ability? I mean, not in this game specifically, but any curb. I have a soft spot for Parasol because it's my aesthetic. However, Parasol didn't really get good until uh, Return to Dreamland, because it got iframes. <laughs> Just such a specific thing, but... Oh yeah, look, now you can see all the stars, so you know what I'm talking about. Your brother likes the wheelie scooter and the swerve star. I don't like either of them. You saw a guy put Eurobeat over a race scene in Oban Star Racing. And martial artist is your favorite. Like, fight? A fighter? Fighter's a really good one. Alright, here we go. Checker Knights. That's the only ship I got. So, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Oops. Sorry, Yellow, you don't exist, I guess. If there's cheesy Eurobeats of Toho music, there's gotta be cheesy Eurobeats of Curb. Oh, hey! You guys mind? What curb game is Clown in it? I haven't played um, Robobot or Triple Deluxe, which is a travesty. The music's a little chuggy, but it's still good. It's still good. I don't remember how the courses go at all, because it's been so long. And again, like, my brother and I mostly played City Trial. <laughs> Stop! This is so sad. See, if we were playing Double Dash, I could show off and be good. But this, no. Ugh. Give me the wheelie. Okay, whoosh. It's slow, the music, but it's kind of majestic at the same time. So slow. I'm so slow. Does this imply Kirby eats a clown? <laughs> I mean, clown aside, hurts nobody. No, not even a clown. Man, this is really sad. Clay Wheel. Zoom does make great music. You know what I want more is, like, Toho-style remixes of things? I heard a really good one of uh, The World Revolving from Delta the other day. But like, I feel like it's not a proper Toho song unless it has the Zoom Pets. 
What else is another good Kirby ability aside from Parasol? I really liked, um, ba -ba -ba. I think I can't, uh, uh, Spark in Return to Dreamland is also really good. Um, uh, because it plays like Plasma, they just called it Spark. Um, but, uh, you could charge it up like plas Plasma, and, uh, it was really handy against the, uh, some of the bosses, especially I think the final boss used these projectile attacks, but if you had your... Your little plasma aura fully charged, it would just automatically take him out, which was nice. What do you think you're doing, Blue? Someone combined clown piece in the world of revolving. So is she, like, actually a clown? Why is she named clown piece? Or is it just, it's Toho, don't question it? You love this stage, the whole sudden shift in design is great. I agree. It's the music, everything about it, it's good stuff. She is a clown. Okay, clown confirmed. I always wonder, just because she has those American colors, you know? I've never played a Toho game. I don't really know much about them. This was way back when I still streamed on live stream, but I remember once doing an art stream, and, uh, was it, was it then? Yeah, it was, th it was then, um, I was given a Toho and described, I had them described to me and just drew them based on the description. I know some Tohos, but not very many, especially because the uh, the cast is so huge. Do you mind? Yellow, I'm trying to do a thing here. That thing is win. I, I know what Toho is as a series, I've just never actually played one. I feel like, like I've played some Don Maka games in the past. Not Toho, but you know, same genre. But it's hard to get in that sort of zen state where you sort of zone out and, you know, like you can just feel your way through all the bullet patterns. Yellow! Get out. Get out. No! Stop! Get out. They tax your hands so you can't play them for too long. Yeah, they seem like they would be really... It just did make my eyes water, I'm sure. Nobody better sneak up past me. Yay! I did it. If you don't have a large area of focus, you can't play it. Yeah. I, uh... Look at his little hands vibrate. Ow. It's less so much being zen, it's more being able to navigate your character without looking at your character. So kind of like typing without looking at the keyboard. Or playing a game without looking at the controller. I remember my brother trying to get my dad to try Bioshock. Um, because we thought the story would be interesting to him, but my dad um, hasn't really played much since like Link to the Past and Link's Awakening on the Game Boy. So he wasn't used to using a controller in this modern era of gaming, let alone one with two sticks that you have to work, and he just would wind up looking at his ceiling, or had his feet over the ceiling for the duration. You gotta be calm and make careful movements. Well, I'm out. You heard like five seconds of this in a Team Fortress 2 Gmod theme? What, with like the Checker Knights or the... You wanna do one more, one more race? Actually, let's do, let's do top down. Show off the whole game, and then I'll call it an evening. Um, so, Boogie, were you looking for, for salmon? Oh, the race finish theme! Uh, let's see. So, my brother and I, what we would do is this. Um, I'm not gonna do that right now, because it would take forever. Oh, but yeah, I'll let the little tutorial tell you what Top Ride's all about. The stat screen, oh. Sonic Kart Rubble Blast 2 is a great race game. It just came back to you. I've never played it. it. 
course, yeah, there's a steer star and the free star. Um, my brother and I both always use the steer star because the other one, I can't make it work. It's just too disorienting. I don't know why. Anyway, it's very short and chaotic. There's a lot of different items you can get. And I have a really hard time seeing what some of the items are just because my eyesight, not great. Like, there's a lot more than they're showing here. So yeah, a lot of stuff happens in Top Ride. It's goofy. It's more fun if you turn the laps up, because then you just get huge discrepancy sometimes, and chaos happens, people blow up, Krako is summoned, and... Oh, and then they showed Krako. Okay. That's a good course. Let's just go random here. I'm gonna use the Seer Star, because I'm not a fool. I mean, I am a fool, but not in this. Yeah, this is an easy game, I think, to spend a lot of ow, a lot of time in, especially with all the different little achievements you can get. Well, this camera is disorienting the way it's focusing on me. Can't really see what's ahead of me. The Sonic Heart Rubble Blast, the one where like there's like, so many custom characters in it. I think I've seen it streamed once, a ways back. For a mod of a mod of a Doom engine, it's so well done. I didn't know that's what it was. I never looked into it. I just saw it, I think, streamed once. Oh, there's Krakow. Well, I was hoping I could come around and get it, but no. No, well... I can't do anything about that. That sucks. Dang. How many characters are in there? I didn't know she was in there, too. Yeah, I've always wanted to do secretly is to, like, use a, a sprite editing program and then put myself in, like, Mario World or something. Be a fun, like, dumb stream thing, but that would take a lot of effort, even for something like Mario World. I mean, the Mario hat is like my brand, right? So, what, what am I saying? It's not a Mario hat, it's a Mori hat. It's pink, it's totally different. More than you can keep track of, boy howdy. Well, props to modders for, like, putting stuff in the game, because that takes so much time and effort. Editing is easy, but it's time consuming. Um, I haven't done it in a long time. I used to do it, whoa, a lot. Like way back in the day, just for fun. But I haven't done it in years. I used to make sprite animations back in high school. Yeah, I think out. I think that's about when I did it. So junior high. Gosh, it's been so long. Dang it, I got turned around. Heck. Oh, we're good. Yay. I wasn't even really paying attention to the lap counter. I just thought, boy, I hope I'm still in the lead or I'm going to feel really silly. But yeah. Goodbye, Red. It's not Mario Party 6 levels of the loser suffering, but it's still good. Do I still have any of my work? Unfortunately not on this computer. I wasn't very good at saving and archiving stuff, and a lot of it's silly, like editing sprites into my own characters and that kind of thing. That's what everybody did back in the day. Um, but yeah, that's Top Ride. Um, I don't know why Yellow is so angry. Maybe Yellow is angry because that was gonna be Curb's color, and then they went with pink. Anyway, so, uh, Air Ride, thank you for joining me for Mario Party 6 and Air Ride. I just wanted something nice and chill for today. I gotta go work on art, too. I have to finish that Bug Fables drawing I was working on. Um, so I'm gonna take Tuesday off. And I will catch you all on Friday for Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, which I'm very excited for. I guess it's just all Paper Mario all the time. I mean, I did Paper Mario, I did Bug Fables, which is Paper Mario-esque, and now Thousand Year Door. So, hey, look forward to that. I could stream that too, the art? I could. 
I know that would be of interest to people. Um, you'd have to give me a bit to set up uh, to get my tablet and everything going. Um, I don't know how good the connection would be because I'd be doing it downstairs without the router. But art stream, Paper Mario 64 Master Quest. When uh, you know, I've looked into it, um, but I'm not as practiced with my block timing. Um, and some of those bosses, you really gotta get your blocks just right, especially the ones that can hit your partners too. You didn't use flash though, you used pivot. I never, I don't know what pivot is. Um, art stream, art stream. Okay, how about, um, I will close this. I'm gonna, cause I do have to do my art for today anyway. Um, I will post, I'll do an art stream just for a little bit. Maybe it won't be long. I'm gonna be finishing up something I'm working on, or at least making some progress on it. Um, maybe I can do some basic doodle requests to warm up. But, uh, yeah, how about I catch you guys in a little bit. I don't know how long I'm gonna go, but there's that. But in the meantime, thank you for sticking with me for some curb. I will catch you later, and if not for art, I'll catch you on next Friday for Thousand Your Door. See ya!